Hey everybody, welcome back to Live on Stage. My name is Lucio Fernandez. I am your host. Muy buenas noches, señoras y señores. Bienvenidos a su programa favorito aquí del condado de New Jersey. No, no, aquí New Jersey. Yo estoy de Nueva York. Yo me he olvidado de New Jersey. Yo me mudé para Nueva York hace años. Estoy allá gusando con los neoyorquinos. Aunque no saben mucho, pero bueno. No, no, lo que la gente no sabe aquí son de New Union City. Me van a matar, me van a votar. No hagan caso, no hagan caso, que estoy muy nervioso trabajando en este programa de televisión porque la directora, la productora me tiene nervioso, me tiene coaccionado. No puedo hablar las cosas que quiero hablar. Anyway, estoy aquí. Yo me llamo Lucio Fernández. Soy su anfitrión. Bienvenidos a En Vivo y en Escena. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. We have an incredible show for you guys tonight. We have incredible classical musicians. We even have Miss Canada on live on stage. I'm so excited. No, she's not really Miss Canada. She told me she was Miss Canada. She was lying to me. She told me she was 52 years old, but she's really not. She's a young lady, great violinist, and I'm so proud to meet her. She, she even befriended me on Facebook. It's the one friend I have on Facebook, and I, I love her dearly. I don't know. We're going to start hanging out together. I, I don't think she's old enough to drink, though. But anyway, she lied to me, and we're friends. We're buddies. We're compadres. I'm an adopter as my daughter. But you know, we're, we're cool, we're getting along just fine. Then we have some girl from India, and she's not really from India. She told me she was from India, but she actually lives in, in here in New York City. But anyway, we became friends as well. Then she told me she was a, vo a vocalist, but I think she really plays the piano. But not never that I'm just joking around. We have an incredible show right here on Live on Stage today, ladies and gentlemen. We have classical musicians, we have violinists, we have a oboe player, we have pianists, we have a harp. Oh my god, the harp. I love that harp. I don't know what I was thinking. I love the harp. I have to learn to play the harp. Now I'm too old for that. I'm, I'm 75 years old. That there's no way I can learn to play the harp at this point. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we have a great show for you for you in store tonight. We have the, the young performance from the New York International Concerto Festival right here on live on stage. It's going to be a great show. It's going to be kicking and I got to go. I got to go. Let's check out the interviews. Let's check out the performance. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you. 
So we're here with members of the New York International Concerto Festival. We have a special young guest. She's a wonderful classical musician. She plays the piano, and she's from Hong Kong, and she's here in New York City uh, with her family. Her name is Diane, uh, Diana Lee. Diana Lee, welcome to United States. Diana, tell us a little, a little bit about yourself. Uh, hello, my name is Diana. I'm eight years old. I come from China. I play piano. And what, what do you play in the piano? Do you play, I don't know, chopsticks? What do you play? Do you play Guantanamera? What, what exactly do you play on the piano? Do you play drums on the piano? Classical music. Classical music. And boy, she go. We're going we're gonna to see her performing right here on Live On Stage. Uh, Diana Lee playing beautifully classical music. I was just joking around with her. She's a wonderful, wonderful musician. And uh, it's an honor to have her here. All the way from Hong Kong in New York, uh, to New York City. What a big, long trip to, uh, to make it here. And you have your sister here, and you have your family here. And your sister, Sissy, she's a, a, a ballerina, right? Yes. Now, and we have it right here. So, Sissy, tell us about, a little bit about yourself. You just came from a, a show in, in Korea, right? Um, hello, everybody. My name is Cece Lee. I'm 11 years old. Um, my hobby is dancing ballet, and I am very honored to be here. And, and this is the mother. The, the mother, what a lovely, lovely woman. And she's, tell, tell us, how, how do you feel about having these two beautiful young ladies uh, uh, so in, inclined in classical uh, music and dance? Um, I feel she's very happy and very uh, satisfied. And yeah, let's how she how she feel like about her kids. <laughs> well, I will feel like that too. You have two beautiful daughters, very talented. Thank you so very much for being here with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.
We're so very proud to be here with Vince Lee. Uh, he is the conductor of the Union City Philharmonic Orchestra. Amongst other things, he conducts uh, various orchestras throughout the country, uh, travels all over the world uh, conducting, and we're so happy to have him here on Live On Stage, and we're so happy that he's directing these young performers uh, who are making a name for themselves in the Tri-State area, performing in New Jersey, in New York, and throughout, uh, including Lincoln Center. Vince, uh, tell us first a little bit about yourself. Well, I started music at a very young age, at age five, and I actually started first as a stage performer, so I sang, I acted, loved that, and then I was 13 when I started conducting, and I really loved the art form. I was very lucky to have some great mentors in my life, and I'm still conducting to this day, so life is fantastic. I get to do what I love, and can't ask for much more than that. Now, tell us a little bit, uh, how does it feel to, to work with these young, uh, talented uh, uh, children? Well, I tell you, it's one of my big philosophies in life. I would not be here where I am today without the great supporters and mentors that I had and I'm a big believer of paying it forward. I love working with young talent of all ability levels from all over the world and to have such great talented kids here it's so great to get in there see what they've learned and being able to give them something extra to build on top of and then carry with them after they leave this workshop. Well said. Now what, what the audience is going to see tonight we're going to see excerpts of all these uh, young performers perform. Uh, what can you tell the audience out there, especially the young kids uh, here in the United States that are watching this, these performances of these talented kids? Well, I think the first and most important thing is how much hard work it takes to get here. And that's part of what this festival does. This is now our third festival here in Union City. We love being here. The people are great. And again, this guy, magic maker. Without your support, we would not be able to do all these things. So thank you so much, Lucio, for all your support. Uh, but these kids, it takes so much hard work to get there. And you never stop working. You never stop learning. So that's the most important thing. Practice, practice, practice. Work with as many people as possible. And that's the starting point. Then, once you've done all that hard work, music is no good if you just keep it to yourself. Nobody practices eight hours a day to just stay at home and practice. In the end, music is about sharing and connecting with other people. So then, once you've done all that hard work, then you get out there and you express yourself. Have something to say about the music, and that is really what connects with people and touches people. And you'll see that with all of these kids. It's something we're really working with them in detail. Well said, Vince. So let's check out some of these performances, and we'll keep on talking to the kids, all right?
We're here with Su Bin Lee. Uh, she's from uh, Korea, a young lady who plays uh, my favorite instrument, which is the harp. And uh, you're going to see a mesmerizing performance right here on Live On Stage. I have to say, uh, the last couple of days, she also performed at uh, the Comfort Women Memorial in Union City, and she did a spellbinding performance in the harp. It was very, very beautiful. Uh, Su Bin, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, how long have you been playing the harp, and uh, why the harp? Um, I've been playing the harp for about three and a half years and um, the reason I'm playing the harp is because I love the sound so I when, while I was watching the Nutcracker I had a chance to hear a harp solo in the orchestra so I like the sound so much that I wanted to play the harp. Now did you did you try another instrument first? Did you try the violin or anything like that or you just went right to the harp? Uh, I played the piano before, I played the harp, and I singed a bit too. Now you speak English very, very well. Uh, how? How is that possible? Uh, the only English I learned is from Korea. So you learned, you, this is the first time in the United States, right? And yes. you And you speak English so well, I'm, I'm, I'm so uh, surprised. Do you have uh, English-speaking uh, English teachers, or are they American, or uh, British? Uh, I do have English speaking teachers. I have a tutor and she's Korean but she lived in America for a long time. Very good. You speak beautifully and you play even more beautiful. Uh, thank you so very much for being on our show. Thank you.
So we're here with three other members of the New York International Concerto Festival, and I have to be nice to them. I can't joke around too much because they, they swore they were going to beat me up. They're really tough. Uh, I'd like to introduce them as Miss Canada, Miss India, Miss Shanghai, <laughs> but not really. They're classical, <laughs> classical musicians, and they're very serious, so I can't joke around too much uh, about them. We have an oboe, o oboe uh, uh, player. Uh, tell us a, li a little bit about yourself. Hi, my name is Busan Kim. I'm Korean. I'm from Shanghai. I play oboe. I am 25 years old. Thank you. <laughs> and can she play the oboe? The other day we had a ceremony for the uh, Comfort Woman Memorial, and she played a beautiful, uh, a beautiful piece in the oboe, and everybody was in tears. It was actually very, very beautiful, and she played here tonight. You're going to see her right after this interview. And we have here a wonderful, wonderful vocalist from India, Pallavi Seth. Tell, uh, tell us a little bit about, you, about yourself. My name is Pallavi Seth. I'm from New Delhi, India, and I'm 20 years old. And I love, love, love to sing. <laughs> Last time we had Pallavi on the TV show, she spoke for about three hours. <laughs> I, I, did, I, I did about 10 TV shows from that uh, one interview. <laughs> People, I, she's, she's more famous than I am now, you know, it's all about, and you know, I, and I pronounce her name wrong all the time, you know, Seth, you know, you know what do I know, I'm Cuban, I'm allowed. So here we have Miss Canada with us. No, no, she's a wonderful uh, classical violinist and uh, her name is Angela. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Hello, my name is Angela Yoon. I'm from Canada. I lived in Montreal. I'm 25 years old. Apparently, that's what we're we're telling age now. <laughs> so, yes, I'm 25 years old, and I am a violinist. My name is Lucio Fernandez, and I'm <laughs> 23 years old. And <laughs> I'm a classical, <laughs> classical <laughs> idiot. No, I, I'm so happy to have you ladies here. You do a wonderful, wonderful job in your respective instruments, including your voice. And we're going to see them perform right here on Lavan Stage. We hope you dig it. We hope you enjoy it. And uh, just tune in.
So what do you guys think about those performers, huh? They were great. I taught them everything they know. The violin, the oboe, the harp. I taught them everything. The piano. The little girl with eight years old. No, she taught me how to do all of that stuff. She was really good. That eight-year-old piano player. Oh, my God. She was gorgeous. She was so beautiful. And her sister was dancing ballet behind in the room. I thought they, they should do a show. We should take that on the road, you know? We can go on the road. She's from Hong Kong. Can you imagine the Cuban and the, and the two girls from Hong Kong performing all over the world? We'd be stars. You know, but they said no to me. They turned me down. Anyway, I gotta go. I hope you guys dug the show. It's a great show. I'm so happy. Sí, espero que les haya gustado el programa de televisión. Tuvimos estas 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 estrellas jóvenes de la música clásica. Qué cosa más linda, caballero. Si yo pudiera tocar música así, yo no estuviera haciendo este programa como un loco aquí. De todos modos, me, pues, me tengo que ir porque me están votando. El camarógrafo me dice que me tengo que ir. Así que hasta la, hasta luego. No, me tengo que despedir. Till next time, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host. Good night, everybody. Peace out. Come. Oh, check out my website www.luciocuba.com. Luciofernando.com. TheCubanKid.com. Me voy. I'm out of here. Goodbye, everybody. Peace out, people. Hong Kong here.